we're now going to take a look at implementing a new information system through direct parallel phase and pilot conversion methods and essentially how we replace an old system with a new system. The first method we're going to look at is a direct conversion which is a method where the new information system is immediately implemented in full to the organization replacing the old system completely. This means the old system is no longer operational and can no longer be accessed if there are any issues. So here is the old system and Basically, it gets replaced straight away by the new system, no more old system. This conversion method is commonly used for replacing paper-based systems, completely getting rid of the old system because it's not up to the technical standard. The next conversion method is the parallel conversion method in which both the old and new system are run side by side. An example of a parallel system would be the actual self-checkout terminals at the grocery store. Okay, the fact that we have these new self-checkout terminals, but we still have the traditional checkouts with the employee behind the counter also scanning things and aiding us at the shopping center as well. So two systems running side by side. The parallel conversion method has the advantage of having the old system readily available if there are any issues with the implementation of the new system. Though on the other hand, the conversion method requires an increased level of maintenance and administration essentially because you're running now two systems. Okay, you're running them both side by side. You need to maintain both systems and keep them working efficiently and they both run differently. So you're almost doubling your workload there. So what this looks like is we've got the old system and then the new system is brought in and the two systems run side by side. This might only be for a period and then the new system runs on its own or it could in fact be that they run side by side if they seem to work well together. The third conversion method is the phase conversion, which is the gradual implementation of parts of the new system at designated intervals. At specific periods, the new system will be implemented, replacing a section of the old information system. This will continue until the new system is eventually installed in full. So we might have the old system here, and then over time, we are replacing it slowly with parts of the new system. The staggered approach to the phase conversion method has the advantage of each individual part of the new information system being trialled individually. Once a part is operating correctly, the next part of the new system can then be converted. Using this form of implementation is slow, but it is also a very careful approach to implementing a new system. Sometimes a disadvantage can be though, is if you're running parts of the old system and parts of the new system, which would be occurring in the middle of a phase conversion method, they're often not compatible with each other in some cases, and that can lead to issues of why you cannot use this conversion method. The final method of conversion is the pilot method conversion, and this is where the new system is trialled in part of an organisation. If the information is deemed successful after a trial period, it will then be implemented into other areas of the organization. So here's our organization split into four different departments. One of the departments, it may be a department within a store or maybe a store running in a larger geographical department of the, a greater organization. Okay, one of these uh, departments starts using the new system and it uses it for a period. Now, it will be a set period, it might be three months or a year, but once it's determined it's been a success there, other parts of the organization then adopt it and if it's a full success, it's adopted in full. This method of implementation has the advantage of the information system being trialed in full within a smaller area, but using live data from customers and employees. Okay. Once a trial is completed, the system can be evaluated before it's implemented into other areas of the organization. So I hope this video has given you a good understanding of the four conversion methods. That of direct, where the old system is immediately replaced by the new system. Parallel, where both old and new system run side by side with each other for a period or for longer. Phase, where the old system is gradually replaced by the new system, with each individual part being individually trialed and tested before the next part is brought in and the pilot conversion, where this new system is trialled in full within a segment of the organisation, and then after the trial period, it is then spread to other parts of the organisation if deemed a success. So I hope you have a good understanding of it.